All right, hello again, people. And yes, we have a different setting today. I am in the great outdoors for uh, a watch which I think suits this setting uh, because what we have here today is the first digital watch uh, I've brought on the channel. This is a Pathfinder. And uh, of course, anybody, any of you who are very familiar with watches will know it is a Casio. Um, no pretense, I really like how there's no pretentiousness about uh, Casio. Uh, you know, it's a cardboard box which is really a throwaway package, uh, you know. Uh, so there's no fancy unboxing here. And and Casio, uh, really, you know, quite likely the most ubiquitous watch company in the world. Now, I can't find any uh, data to confirm that, but I would be surprised if there is another company which makes more watches now not in terms of revenue we know that this biggest single brand is definitely not casio in revenue but in terms of the sheer number of pieces because they focus very much on the lower end of the market you know some uh, new pieces you can get for under ten dollars it's just amazing you know the penetration into the the third world market is is like no other brand i think uh, so this this is a Pathfinder triple sensor watch um, as you can see on the top there clearly advertised um, it, it's got altimeter barometer thermometer uh, compass um, you know I think the triple sensors really is is the pressure uh, the direction and the uh, uh, the thermometer those are the triple sensors um, and out of pressure you can derive altimeter uh, uh, type of estimates um, it's it's no longer in production. Uh, this is PAG40-3V is the model number, uh, but the the current model that's very close in function and design is the ProTrek uh, PRG40-3VER um, uh, that is currently available. I'll put uh, Amazon links to both of these below, uh, as well as the original uh, Casio archive link to this particular watch. Um, uh, sorry, that, that, that model number PRG43VER is actually the, uh, the also known as model. Uh, the current close model is the uh, Pathfinder PAG240-1CR. That's, that's the model that's currently available uh, that, you know, for wide purchase online. I can't remember the MSRP for this watch. I think it was 160. Uh, thereabouts, uh, I actually paid 135 US from Amazon for this particular watch. This is a quartz multifunction. Uh, I think the module is uh, 2271, uh, Casio module 2271. Uh, really huge multifunction, uh, as mentioned. Uh, it's got an altimeter uh, and it will measure. Uh, historical measures and in measures of uh, five millimeter uh, five meter increments up to 10,000 meters uh, it's got a barometer which is activated by this middle button here uh, you know and and right there in uh, kilopascals uh, and it will it will measure uh, a wide range I think as low as uh, in the 700s I might be wrong but it also gives a history graph as you can see there and down the bottom 27.0 degrees Celsius is the temperature readout altimeter barometer and thermometer and then lastly digital compass uh, which uh, you know you get this uh, second layer of the LCD which is really quite nice uh, and I'll try to get it to function as you can see there as we turn it will give uh, different readouts and north to me is, is to my back left as I, and I pull it back it will go close to zero degrees. If I turn it to the opposite direction, it should be around 180 degrees. Uh, you know, close enough right there, as you can see. Um, uh, so a very user-friendly compass display, and it also, uh, again, has historical data. Uh, the altimeter, uh, you can set it for a altitude target alarm. Uh, and apart from that, you have all your usual other functions. So, you know, time uh, with all option for dual time display uh, you know the date down the bottom there uh, uh, you know 12th of December this is a, a United States readout there uh, 2016 and of course it's kind of like digital perpetual calendar you don't have to set that once you've uh, got it right um, 
it's got five daily alarms as with uh, you know many of these uh, modules uh, you can set all of them to be to be on or off and it's got an hourly signal option as well um, and sorry going back through this settings uh, it's got the stopwatch which you know in this case is a 24 hour stopwatch uh, with one one hundredth of a second accuracy uh, you know just it's great isn't it you, you, any any of you who've been familiar with Casio you, uh, stop start uh, split time reset you know how to use it straight away you don't have to look at the manual uh, and there we have pretty much all the functions really a huge amount of function uh, the case is a gray green resin case you know really this this tough material with visible screws on the side on the top uh, it's just this lovely uh, in a robust look to it um, with this plastic black uh, movable uh, compass uh, bezel uh, mineral glass of course not sapphire um, and uh, a screw construction at the back as well you can see screws holding the back um, and lastly uh, but not least it's got a well, it doesn't really show here but there we go you can see a little bit of that uh, I'll just try to demonstrate that uh, LED function um, it's got a afterglow uh, back light LED. Now, this is the first watch, of course, that I've had, uh, which has an uh, electric uh, powered light. Uh, very useful, very convenient, and very easy to read in the dark. Uh, you know, no, no need to charge uh, using sunlight or anything, of course. Uh, now, the strap is resin based, um, uh, very tough looking, but you know, reasonably comfortable. Uh, strap for this huge case which is really what we're talking about a 53 millimeter case 18 millimeter thick uh, and you know I'll, I'll put it on for the wrist shot, shot right now uh, but you know it's not gonna be uh, uh, hiding under sleeves it's not designed for that uh, as you can see but uh, you know it, it fits reasonably comfortably on my wrist which isn't the biggest wrist but for for your casual outdoor uh, look it is, you know, it fits. Uh, now, what do I love about this watch? It's just tough. It, it, it you know, it will take a beating, even though it's not a G shock. Uh, it will take a beating. It's just built to be tough. Uh, it absolutely is feature packed. We've gone through so many different features. Uh, this is easily the most featured watch uh, of any of the watches I own. I don't own any other uh, G shocks, and this just beats everything else. Um, uh, I, I love the homology with uh, the digital models that Casio has, you know, the button placements. Straight away you know how to go to the stopwatch and start it. Uh, you know, no, uh, uh, <laughs> nothing unclear about which button uh, does what function there, you know, big really letters. Um, uh, and it's so easily recognizable, you know, that, that, that bright light button which is quite amusing actually I suppose if it's in low light you can see that brightly but if it's in no light well you can't really read that anyway you just feel your way to it um, I bought this watch for uh, cabin pressure aircraft cabin pressure research and it served me very well to to give me the readouts on cabin pressures at aircrafts uh, different aircraft models uh, what's not so good well of course the the versatility now I mean this is functionally versatile it will do everything if you were going to be marooned on a, a deserted island well you know there's not much watch is going to serve you better than something as functional as this what I mean is aesthetically versatile it, it really suits outdoor rugged you know um, settings um, maybe you can get away with it in casual settings but even so that might be pushing it uh, but you know other settings work uh, smart casual formal certainly will be out of place uh, you know uh, but you know it, it, it there's no pretentiousness about this which is what I love uh, it, it 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 does what it says it does and it doesn't apologize for not being what it's not um, the other big weakness is is the battery power you know, it, it's battery powered it lasts I think it lasted me well over two years initially and then I had to change it uh, but you know the current model which I quoted before PAG 241CR is a tough solar so you know I think 
there's no question I, I'd prefer that one over this given the, the choice again. Th th that wasn't available when I bought this uh, a good six years ago. Uh, and this model has been superseded by solar models, which really is much superior in that you never have to worry about the power source. So there we have it. Um, hope you enjoyed the look at uh, you know, this, this uh, watch, which uh, again is something different, something I haven't uh, brought on the channel before. Uh, let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys. See you next time.